We're going to react to Chinese weightlifting, their technique, and their overall dominance in the sport. And we're going to start right now. When I'm thinking about Chinese weightlifting, what do I think about other than, you know, uh, Xi Jinping, Dang Wei, uh, 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 Lu Xiaojun, all these just total uh, animals. I, I think about their technique. Okay, I think about being extremely strong, extremely strong with front squats, extremely strong with back squats, extremely strong with heavy pulls, but also being able to control their speed in a very precise manner. So uh, having a unique way to do, you know, snatch pulls, snatch high pulls, and a lot of, of course, their bodybuilding. So that's what I'm thinking about. And when we're gonna check the, out these videos, I think if we can all look at it through, you know, what, what's their physique like? Uh, what's their technique like? and then how well do they control their speed? And that's gonna lead to that very precise execution of technique in the snatch and the clean and jerk. So let's start rolling. So this is in Pattaya 171. I was actually on the same bus with Lou this year, going from Tokyo to the airport. Dude, he's like 35 here, 36 years old. Just again, I, you know, I think that the biggest lesson is just paying attention to what they do with their knee movement. Watch knees back, knees under, flat footed. You know, they slide the feet. There's no jumping all over the place. Longevity is there from the bodybuilding and maybe some other stuff. So here we go. This is where he just went off in the clean and jerk. This is 207, I think. Just crazy, just crazy. Senior world record, 35, 36 years old. Lu Xiaojun, the world champ, just a total phenom. Again, but look at the technique. The feet stay flat for a long period. Knees move well, he's good upright posture in the dip. Great mobility. Gosh. 207. 207's crazy. Dude, look at how jacked he is. <laughs> All right, so here is Li Wen Wen. Just, she's phenomenal. Just total phenom. Moves really well. Bar gets into good position. 142. Oh, 146. Jeez. Yeah, and that's the crazy thing. She's still a junior here. But again, pay attention to how they move their knees when they're snatching. All of, all of the Chinese lifters clear their knees back. They're not pushing their knees out. The knees are clearing back. They're staying on a flat foot for a very long period and they've got a really, really strong upper body. A little forward on that clean. Smacks the hell out of that jerk. <clears throat> Wins the junior world title, wins the senior world title. Six for six. 186 clean and jerk. World record. I think you're gonna see real, real crazy stuff in the in the supers over the next for the women over the next couple of years. Knees back, knees back, flat footed. Again, the, these principles, you know, and we talk about this a lot with technical videos that we put out. Watch the knee movement. Watch the foot position. Uh, watch the, the hip, watch the hip and how they hold hip flexion for a longer period of time and they're not flailing their, their chest way back. The hips come in and then they extend the knees. Great movement, great technique. Lee Day in, 175. I think this is in, this might be in Uzbekistan, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Uzbekistan. Shout out to uh, Squat Jerk Journalist. He does a great job. Actually, uh, so one of, I wanted to talk about Lee Day In is one of the few guys that doesn't push his knees back as much as uh, Xi Ji Yong or Lu Xiaojun. So watch the knees. Let's watch the left video here. Come back. Actually, that was a bad one to watch, but still feet slide out to a wide catch position. It always shifts a little bit to that left side. And this is 175 kilos. Just absolutely insane. So I'm eating, I'm eating some of my own words because, but his hip extends and his knee extends because uh, Lee Day-In does push his knees out a bit. 
Not all Chinese do that. Most of the Chinese, if not all of them, except for leading in, push the knees back. So I'm eating some of my words there. I prefer the knees back and still watch his feet and how the, his feet move in the finish uh, into the catch. They slide out. He's not flailing and jumping his feet all over the place. Just look at how swole his quads are. 175 kilo snatch. Same foot movement, boom. So dang way, what was that? That was four or 16, yes. Yeah. So that's when she was going uh, with Toma and the North Korean chick. Great technique, rock solid in the bottom position. I think 2014 Asian game, she's got those uh, those like hyper extended elbows, but again, it's the strength work that they do overhead, um, the bodybuilding work, uh, the, this, this, the, the way that they do squats, the way that they, they handle heavy load, but then also work with their speed movements and hypertrophy movements. It's not a secret. I mean, some of their stuff's a secret. All right. Dang way, clean and jerk. This is what? 5.45, I believe. She's so strong. She doesn't even have knee sleeps on. A little narrow in the split. She's not wearing knee sleeves. <laughs> How? Oh my gosh. That's a huge total. 145, 259 total. 261 total. So she won. Did she win by 10 kilos? Yeah, knees back, knees under. Super quick with the feet. Tight dip, big drive, front foot's forward. Excellent movement. Here's CG Young. 65, 66. Smack that. I think one of the things too I want to talk about was when we were in Pattaya watching, you know, we're warming up and training and watching them, uh, watching the Chinese team, they come in with, they've got these big tubular bands they use for warm-ups for their shoulders. They're using for their shoulders, they're using for, for some, even some bodybuilding stuff, using it for, for warming up their pecs. Then they're doing squats with the bands and it's just like, the way that they execute their movements and their warm-ups and everything's precise. And they're also like sort of clowning around a little, but just while they're clowning around, they're still deliberate with their practice. Comes out and just power cleans. That's just insane. Power cleaning, what, 190? 190? Power cleaning 190 as a 73? Power cleaning is six kilos under the world record is pretty good. <laughs> this is where too, it's like, you know, you see the, they see this class, this class is stacked. And CJ's in here at 73 and you, you've got to be consistent at like eight, 185 plus to be, a, to be a player. 363 total, <clears throat> 197. So fast out of the bottom. This dude, think about Shi Young. He's never lost in a weightlifting competition. Dang Wei hasn't lost since 2014. Lu Zhao Jun's lost like, what, two or three times? It's insane. It's like, what the heck? And I think a lot of it is technique. A lot of it is the, the strength movement. But a lot of it is, you know, their, their bodybuilding. Then some other stuff. Even when he's doing his power jerks, watch his feet slide. I think that's the, I think that's the biggest thing everybody has to learn, especially in the U.S. I was even thinking about Haley, the so the Chinese girl at 49k. I think she clean and jerked 116, snatched like 93, and this is what 123, I think, 128. 
I missed what was on the screen. I like that jerk a lot. She's tiny. I think she's a 55. Another new world record. And that, like, how, you know, these girls and, and, and athletes, 224 total, 128 clean and jerk. It, it's like how early they start training, I think, factors into it. Um, the provincial setup that they have with their coaches, I really, really like that jerk technique. Drops that back knee, great mobility in the ankle. Okay, so here you have Tian Tao, you know, 200K clean and jerk. He's another one. Watch how his knees work. It's very clear and evident. Lu Xiaojun's sitting right in front of him, just like, what? It's like a joke. It's like a joke that he just did this. <laughs> now he's going 280. <laughs> it's funny because we just had our shot putters had a squat session and uh, two guys were up around 280. Taman went 281, but he weighs, you know, 140 kilos. Tian Tao's a 96 kilo lifter. And he's front squatting 280. Jeez. Just absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. So here he comes out, 231. One of the, this is the test event that was in Tokyo. What's on the screen here is not accurate. It says 140, but this is a clean and jerk. 231, you can see behind him. Watch the knees and watch his feet. Watch knees and feet, knees and feet. He stopped 231. He stopped 231 at 90 degrees. Oh my gosh. I don't understand how people can watch something like this and, and like strength coaches could watch weightlifting and watch like that compilation, watch someone like Quo lift, watch someone like Lasha lift and not be like, well, I don't know if I want to use that for sports performance. I don't, I don't want to have a 220 pound guy be able to stop, you know, 500 pounds at 90 degrees overhead, overhead. And not that, you know, if you're training for sports performance, you're not going to get that strong, but it's the, the principle, the speed, the, the strength that comes into it, the rate of uh, coordination and mobility that's necessary, the technical coordination that you need from that mindset. And that's exactly what the Chinese have. They've got the bodybuilding, they've got the strength, they've got mobility, they've got everything that they could ever want. And, and that control, the speed is the most important factor. And that's why the Chinese weightlifting team is so dominant. Bodybuilding, strength movements, speed control, technique, mindset. They have everything and that's why they are the best. If you need help with your weightlifting training, click on the link down below, head over to garagestrength.com, pick up a program today so that you can start learning how to properly move your knees, how to properly move your feet and hit some monster PRs. Until next time guys, peace.